Alright, so uh, what's up everybody? Welcome to another video. Today, I can finally watch Vader vs. Obito after like five days of it coming out. I have not gotten spoiled on the, the winner, but I will tell you something I did get spoiled on like once I get to the end of the video. But uh, So anyway, uh, I did not get spoiled on the winner, like I said. I, if I do predict the winner, it's not going to be because I checked on the death battle wiki or anything. Okay, I promise. So, anyway, uh, today, it's finally the day I watch Vader vs. Obito, and I'm so fucking hyped for this. Like, you have no idea. Like, Sauron vs. Lich King, a lot of people were probably hyped for, but... I mean, I'm not really a Lord of the Rings guy, so I probably wasn't hyped for that. So, um, I am hyped for this on the other hand, because Darth Vader hasn't gotten a chance since, Doctor D since he fought Doctor Doom. And, uh, speaking of death battle, <laughs> I was just thinking of, uh, yeah, what was it? I wrote a bunch of scripts for, uh, one of my death battle videos <laughs> on my trip. I, I, like, have them a lot on my phone. And I did most of season seven, so I am impressed with myself on that. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I didn't do seasons one through six. I just started with seven because of, like, I'm not going to go further in depth to it. Just, I started with it. So, um, yeah, I am just excited to see this one. So, that's why. I mean, Yoda vs. King Mickey and Obi-Wan vs. Kakashi are really good Star Wars episodes. But the rest of the five kind of have a catch. But let's see if this one does. Maybe this one will be my new number one favorite Star Wars battle. I haven't seen the reception on actually any of the season 10 battles uh, lately. I just want to see them and I don't want <laughs> to see the reception spoil my opinion of them. But uh, anyway, let's get into it. Sorry for bothering you with all that. If you didn't want to hear it, then skip to this part of the video, I guess. All right, let's see it. Let's see it. Darth Vader, Dark Lord of the Sith. Obi Wan Uchiha. Oh, I Secret really like that. Like, uh, Five examples of how you could like die that. a hero or live long Model enough to become Obi a villain. Obi he right wears an iron boomstick. And wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. Hero or live long enough to become a villain. He wears an iron Isn't, boomstick. I haven't and watched the movie before, but I know that's, that's like a Batman reference. Win a death battle. Why does Obi Wan's model in that look so weird? <laughs> A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, the Iron Fist... Oh yeah, I love how, like, on the uh, Darth Vader preview, they try to play the Imperial March and got co and it <laughs> almost got copyrighted from that. That's, like, so funny. Nice As a child among the harsh wastes of Tatooine, Anakin longed to one day free his fellow slaves as a heroic Jedi. Lucky for him, he met Qui-Gon Jinn, a Jedi who believed little Annie was the chosen one and would bring balance to the yeah, Force. No pressure, right? So he took him under his wing to become the Papa he never had. Or so was the plan. Until... <laughs> yeah. Wait, isn't that that, that one screen? Became Anakin's mentor. But while Anakin sought a father figure, Obi-Wan saw him as more of a brother. I'm sure that won't cause any awkward tension whatsoever. Drama and trauma aside, Anakin quickly became a powerful Jedi. He excelled in lightsaber combat and the Force, an energy field that binds all living things together. The Force lets Jedi move stuff with their mind, fend off mental attacks, predict the future, and make people believe these aren't the droids they're looking for. Hey, I, I like that reference. Wizard, through rigorous training and a not unnoticeable natural talent, Anakin was particularly skilled in the Form 5 lightsaber fighting styles, Jin and Jem So. Also known as the Way of the Great Dragon. You know that big sand dragon Mando blew up from the inside? Yeah, make that a lightsaber. Form 5 is what? incredibly <laughs> versatile, well suited for defending against lightsaber and blaster alike. It focuses on blending parries with devastating counterattacks, aiming to win duels through overwhelming pressure. Perfect for the Padawan who just bulldozed his way through training to become a Jedi Knight. Even as a newly knighted Jedi, Anakin could keep up with some of the most experienced Jedi Masters and Sith Lords of his time. But he had plenty of other problems to deal with, like his late-blooming rebellious teenage angst. I mean, you don't just throw a kid into space monk school and expect him to forget everyone he ever cared about, right? Well, apparently that's what he was supposed to do. <laughs> the life of a Jedi 
okay. difficult and cold, something Anakin could not accept. And so, rather than let his secret wife die in childbirth, he was seduced to the dark side through the promise of power. And so began his Jedi kill streak until Obi Wan gave him a glorious lava bath. How uh, refreshing! But thanks to his new Sith master, Palpatine, our young warrior was saved, reborn, rebuilt. He was now Darth Vader. Vader is a badass! Everyone knows it, and they're terrified of him! I mean, just look at the guy! As impressive as his armor appears, you might be surprised by its quirks. See, while the Jedi view the Force as an ally, the Sith see it as a tool from which they draw power through passion and emotion. Most potently, negative emotions. Palpatine trained Vader by not only making him believe he killed his wife, but also ensuring he would never forget the monstrous machine he had become. By making oh, the suit suck okay. ass and piss him off! Seriously, Vader, <coughs> this suit! The armor would oh yeah, they mentioned that, Vader vs. Dorian. And the life support system was outdated from the start. Sometimes it would even turn off for several minutes. That doesn't seem good for someone with burnt up lungs! And it was so heavy and clunky that he could barely walk, sometimes even resorting to moving himself with the Force. Oh man, I knew Palpy was evil, but I never knew he was such a dick! <laughs> Despite these issues, the armor fulfilled its true purpose, crafting Darth Vader into the equivalent of a slasher movie villain commanding a galactic army. Nobody wants to mess with him! Thanks to the dark side of the Force, he can make maelstroms that blast everything away, form barriers that shield from all sorts of attacks, and choke anything that's even a minor inconvenience. Hell, sometimes oh, he skips okay. straight to crushing your lungs! One time, a droid named I-5 tried to kill Vader with a laser stated uh, for 300 I, I, kilometers I, I, per I, I, second. I, I, That's light speed, and Vader easily blocked it. <laughs> and for as much bullshit as Palpatine Vader threw in, Vader was tough enough and stubborn enough to push through it. Palpatine knew that Vader would eventually try to kill him and take over the Empire. It's how this had worked. So he constantly fanned Vader's hatred by sending assassins after him to make sure he was still worthy of being his apprentice. Oh, that oh, actually, holy shit, Palpatine Vader's sucks. Lit, destroyed his armor, dropped him back on the lava planet, and told him to make his way back without the Force. An impossible task, but <coughs> one Vader accomplished. Yeah, because he really, really, really wants to kill Palpatine. And that hatred is a Yeah, I see why he killed Palpatine now. Alive. Well, not killed because of episode nine killed. now. But I'm sorry, yeah, you know I mean. Should have hated a little more. Vader has killed hundreds, possibly thousands of Jedi, including Obi Wan himself. He's fought entire armies on his own. He even taken on monsters the size of mountains. Oh, that's a great editing technique. <laughs> that was like really cool. To kill him, quit the job because he calculated that Vader was impossible to kill. And in Ewok's material from the old Legends canon, a real deep cut, we know. Lesser dark side users like the Night Sister Sherald overpowered the Sunstar, an ancient artifact capable of shifting moons. A feat which would require energy worth over 12 septillion tons of TNT. That's 24 zeros! So 12 Yoda tons, okay. <laughs> here's a planet blowing up while Vader was on it, and he's fine. But thanks to both his incredible power and the mercy and trust of his secret son, Vader would eventually avenge the atrocities of Palpatine. Even more important, he finally saved someone he loved. Ultimately, Anakin Skywalker truly did bring balance to the Force. On the low-carbon diet. I really loved how that analysis turned out, man. <laughs> it might not have, like, so many jokes that I liked, but, like, that's a way to dive into someone's character right there. <laughs> and hopefully Obito can't kill Vader. <laughs> Greenfield Natural Meat Co. There's probably you gonna be in, like an ad Don't playing, not this. this ad, but like in the actual death battle, so uh, see you when that's over. Or not, okay then. Uh, yeah, let's go Obito's then. The leader of the Hidden Leaf Village and their strongest ninja, respected and loved by all. Though few have attained this title, many have strived for it. One such striver, sadly lacking in parents, wanted to both help people and be acknowledged by the rest of the village. And what better way to do that than having your face carved into a mountain? If you think of talking about Naruto, guess again! This is the story of Obito Uchiha! <coughs> Obito unfortunately lacked the natural talent for ninja arts attributed to his Uchiha bloodline. So he signed up for ninja school and eventually joined a team with his rival Kakashi, his crush Reef, and their leader Minato. Which you think 
I can get into a oh, ninja school like okay. that. Not one that teaches you to harness this form of chakra, a limited form of physical and spiritual energy that exists inside oh, all that's a nice right and there. naturally can be weaponized. He can use it to run up walls and make clones of himself, but even better, blow shit up! This is ninjutsu. Among its many techniques include elemental attacks, and the Uchiha specialize in all things fire. Big fireballs, small fireballs, waves of fire, columns of fire, you name it, they've got it. So when Ninja World War III came along, it totally made sense to get this fire ninja involved at the age of 11. Yikes! Well, Actually, lucky Rubito, he okay. has one more secret weapon up his sleeve. Er, I suck it. The Sharingan! The Sharingan grants extremely precise vision, allowing someone to see the flow of chakra, predict an enemy's attack, cast a variety of genjutsu illusions, and even break out of said illusions. Too bad he didn't get to use the red eyes much. Like ten minutes after he got the damn things, he got smushed under a big rock. What a way to go! But <coughs> since he wasn't expecting to use his damn. super eyes anymore, he handed one off to Kakashi. And then he died. The end! No, he didn't die. Just kidding! Miraculously, Obito survived long enough to be rescued by another Uchiha, the legendary Madara. Madara Why does he look so old? Doesn't Madara have this, like, black hair? Or am I missing something in, like, the Naruto Except he world? was not! Madara was brewing some plans for world domination and needed a pawn to carry them out. So he tricked Obito into watching Kakashi kill Reed, making him fall victim to the Uchiha's curse of hatred. Come on, Gekko. There exists an idea okay, I remember them saying that about like the one the Naruto announced that if that he's a particularly in the powerful Uchiha loses someone important to them, that love will be replaced with an all-consuming hatred. This is how Obito awakened his Mangekyo Sharingan. Or Red Eye 2.0, the Mangekyo gave him a new jutsu called Kamui. With it, he can suck his foes into another dimension. I hope they use that in the fight. He can even hide weapons in there until he needs them, like his gun by fan. But even better, he can phase through stuff. Well, not quite. Kamui gives Obito the power to move through objects in a manner that's similar to the common phasing superpower akin to the Flash or Kitty Pride. In reality, it's much more yeah. complex as Obito is actually teleporting parts of his body into the Kamui dimension whenever they overlap with other matter. See? There's his body parts right there. Uh, well, if it looks like a duck, it okay. looks like a duck, Cyber it's juice. phasing. Hands up! Yeah! <laughs> Way later on, he also got another super Well, that makes up for the Kamui just being whatever. Cyber Goose was there. On Twitch. This Wait, what about Twitch? Twitch? Man, he is really swapping these things around like a prime sub on Twitch. This Renegon. <laughs> okay, I like how they have the sound effect too. Giving him some nifty abilities like controlling gravity with the Deva path, ripping out souls with the human path, and summoning giant monsters with the animal path. With all of the awful stuff he'd gone through, Obito realized that the ninja world was corrupt to its core. His dream of everyone being happy and working together was never gonna happen. So instead, he agreed to carry out Madara's giga-brain plan to control everything. Donning masks and multiple personas, he recruited a number of rogue shinobi to form the Akatsuki terrorist group and kicked off Ninja World War 4. All to revive okay. the monstrous Ten Tails. <laughs> I the know what you're thinking. Wasn't the whole point of this to stop war in the first place? And that's a very good question. Anyway, the Ten Tails! <laughs> a little base of a near inexhaustible chakra. The Ten Tails possesses tremendous power. It can create massive thunderstorms and hurricanes, multiple clones of itself, and the devastating tail beast bomb. Forget bomb! That's basically a super nuke! This chakra ball is so explosive, it can eclipse continents and reduce mountains to dust. Comparing the surface area of this blast to the surrounding mountains, okay, please be less than that much mass within a fraction of a second must have please. yielded a kinetic energy worth over 13 septillion tons of... God damn it! <laughs> just like, <laughs> just <laughs> of our Vader's. Only those with the power of the six paths can resist their effects. 
Plus, with the Mangle Monster in his system, Obito's regeneration got amped to the point where he can survive having half of his body control alt deleted away. All cards in his hand, he was ready for the final stages of the Giga Plan. He summoned the God Tree and prepared to launch the Infinite Tsukuyomi, a powerful illusion that would trap the entire world in a never-ending dream, free of conflict and sorrow. But the violent cruelty of the ninja world could only quiver in fear when the anime protagonist walked in the room. After getting one tooed by some talk no jutsu, Obito saw within Naruto the spirit of his former self, someone who was always trying to help others. And they'd say his heart grew three sizes that day. Obito <laughs> joined Naruto and Kakashi in saving the world, giving his life to protect his friends. And in his last moments, he entrusted them with reaching the dream he had so long ago to become Hokage, of which they both succeeded. Though he may have lost his ninja way, Obito Uchiha overcame his hatred and helped realize the world he wanted. <laughs> okay, so, uh, Darth Vader's probably not gonna win, but please, Vader, win. <laughs> please. I honestly don't care if I lose my losing streak on this. I have no evidence that Vader's gonna win. Actually, no, that's not smart. I'm gonna be betting on Obito winning, but please Vader win, okay? <laughs> you can't die after what happened with Doom. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on. I just realized one thing I can do, one thing I can do real quick. I was planning to do this at the very start of the video, but uh, I forgot about it, so I guess not, but this is gonna be my way of rooting for Vader. Okay, this is gonna be my way of, uh, of, uh, cheering for, uh, Darth Vader. <laughs> like, please, dude, seriously, win. <laughs> I'm wearing your shirt. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Just please don't lose, okay? You're probably not gonna ever be on the show ever again. <laughs> so, <laughs> we got lucky here. Please win. <laughs> All right. Oh, come on! You gotta be kidding me. That, like, removed all tension. I sense your fear, your anger, and a power. I will be taking it. That power will save this cursed world. You'll have to pry it from my cold, dead hands. Then you he sounds a lot like Madara. What? All too easy. I expected more. <laughs> I won't disappoint. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> You've lost your humanity as well. On the path of the dark side, it is inevitable. Don't lose to the Tantales!
No! No! Uh. Oh, I just got a good idea. <laughs> uh, also me. I did this over, uh, over uh, my thing. No! Come on! Why you gotta be such a dick, Obito? Anyway, uh, let's find out how he wins, cuz I honestly want to figure out. I mean, he was a Yoda ton stronger and has more powers, that's all I know. They used that in the Obi-Wan vs. Kakashi thing. This was a fairly complex matchup. Both Darth Vader and Obito were roughly even in power and speed, so it truly came down to their skill and arsenals. And boy, did they have some deep bags of tricks. Even some of the same tricks. Both could fend off mental attacks. Okay. Yeah. Both could move things around with their minds. And they both Shit. even had options to instantly kill each other. Vader could simply force crush Obito's body, but Obito could just as easily rip out Vader's soul. However, Obito had a few more impressive options available to him, edging out just enough to earn a win. For starters, Kamui made Obito extremely difficult just to touch, let alone injure. And as a Jin Cherokee, he could regenerate from half of his body getting destroyed. While the dark side could help Vader survive extreme conditions, it obviously can't regrow limbs. Plus, thanks to his wide array of jutsu, Obito would eventually overwhelm Vader. While Chakra may normally be a limited source of energy, unlike the Force, the Ten Tails provided Obito with an unlimited supply. And since Chakra is both spiritual and physical energy, yeah, this okay. means Obito would be able to fight on indefinitely. Last but not least, Vader's preference for lightsaber combat means that he'd be up close and personal with Obito, right? Which left him vulnerable to getting disintegrated by one of the many truth-seeking orbs, or even worse, sucked up into the Kamui dimension. Yeah, don't forget about that. Not only would he have no way out, he probably wouldn't even be able to tap into the Force while stuck there. Game over. Have fun starving to death, I guess. Wonder how long you can feed on hate. Darth Vader may have had a tenacity that few uh... others could have. But against Obito's similar might, busted regeneration, and overwhelming range of abilities, well, there was no escape. Godspeed, In the end, Vader. Vader's victory just wasn't meant to be. The winner. Oh come Obito on. Uchiha. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah, one one more thing, one more thing. So remember how I said I was spoiled on something at the very start? <laughs> well, um, so. They dropped the next time short before I got back from the trip. So, you thought it would be something cool and epic to recover my depression from Vader losing again. But no. It's... I understand that I... Actually, no, I don't understand why this is happening. Vader just returned and everyone was so hyped. But, who wants Raven? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> like, bruh. Like, Vader vs. Obito was a really good matchup. While you're bringing back someone from a matchup that I'm surprised was in the top percent. I mean, top 10% of requested ones. <laughs> so, 
why is Raven coming back out of all people? This is probably the one I've been least excited for since, uh, probably Stitch First Rockin'. But, uh, anyway, let's see who she's fighting. My guess, I was thinking on it on, uh, the plane back. Probably, uh, probably Jean Grey, that's my guess. Stay tuned, we have a new death battle releasing every two weeks this year. And click the join button to get new perks and extra content. Planet level members even see death battles before anyone else, so don't miss out. Oh. I was wrong then. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. Well, uh... See you guys. I guess Vader's win wasn't meant to, to, to be.